Hello and welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my day ones, twos, and threes. Thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you all and welcome, welcome, welcome. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes. Only so everything is alleged, some is not. And the fair act use is in my description box, y'all. So let's get to it, y'all. Um, got some good news for Gunna, y'all. The rapper Gunna has been released from jail after entering a guilty plea in the Rico case, y'all. Uh, Rico, Rico. If they say that they were doing the things that they were doing, I don't even see how he got out. But maybe they didn't have anything on him to hold him. Maybe he cooperated. We don't know. We don't know. Okay. Um, Atlanta rapper has entered a negotiated guilty plea to a RICO charge following the, su the sweeping street association indictment against the alleged Young Slam Life Street Association ahead of next month's scheduled trial date. So he got out before they even with the coat, y'all. Okay? Now, a lot of people are saying, no, they just didn't have anything on them. But a lot of people is feeling like um, he snitched. <laughs> so he could get out. I don't know, y'all. Okay? We don't know. Okay? But if he did and people's lives were taken and stuff like that, salute to him. Okay, but if he's playing both sides and he was in on this mess and then he gets out and, you know, Young Thug stays in and he played a part in this, that ain't looking good either, y'all. It's not. It's not. They're saying that the, the defense team is extremely pleased that Mr. Kitchens, that's his name, y'all, Sergio Kitchens. <laughs> Go figure with the last name like Kitchens and look like he loved to eat. Okay, y'all. Better known as Gunner was able to resolve his case on such favorable terms. Gunner's attorney, Steve Sadal, said in a statement, We know Gunner looks forward to both pursuing his highly successful music career and giving back to the community in which he works and lives. Really, y'all? Because I thought they was giving the community hell, y'all. <laughs> That's what I heard. <laughs> They were a hell on the community. They had people scared out their minds. Now, I don't know how all of a sudden now he want to give to the community. But, you know, to each his own, to each his own. Maybe he's going to have a new, you know, um, you know, a new goal in life. Okay? Maybe he is going to turn things around in this life. And maybe, you know, the street association life ain't what is cracked up to be. So maybe now he'll leave this crap alone. Okay? Now, they're saying that the Fulton County District Attorney's Office said that Gunner, whose real name is Mr. Kitchens, entered a negotiated plea Wednesday, according to a statement released through his attorneys. Kitchens sa said he entered what is known as an Alford plea, okay, um, which was in his best interest and at the same time maintains his innocence toward the same charge. Now, how you going to be guilty and, and innocent at the same dang on time? Come on now, y'all. Please, get it together. Now, he says, while I have agreed to always be truthful, I want to make it perfectly clear that I have not made any statements, have not <laughs> been interviewed, have not cooperated, have not agreed to testify or be a witness for or against any party in the case and have absolutely no intention of being involved in the trial process in any way. Y'all, the rapper said in the statement, okay? Now, for him to even put that out, it could be true. It actually could be true that he has nothing to do with nothing, nothing, nothing. But it's hard for me to sit back and think that he got such a great deal and he did not cooperate. Okay, y'all? You know, sometimes it's smoke and mirrors. It's the opposite of what they're saying. So could he have testified against Young Thug? We'll never know. Okay? But whatever he did, if he gave some information, it worked in his best interest. Okay, y'all? Gunner was released from jail Wednesday afternoon, y'all. He's out. Where that girl at? You know he want his girl back, okay? Where is his girl at? All right? Kitchen's sentence would be terminated after completion 
of his community service. Okay, y'all? He is to have no contact with co-defendants, no, no weapons, and if called by any party during the trial, he reserves the right to assert his Fifth Amendment rights against self-incrimination. Okay? So he got it, the paperwork sold up to the fact to make YSL them if, you know, he did have something to do with, you know, them palling on all these charges on somebody else. He got that paperwork sold up to make people think he had nothing to do with tricking. Okay, y'all? So I uh, I don't know how this gonna go. Um you don't get no you don't get no deal like this. And um you have not d gave them something. I'm just saying, y'all. Okay, I'm just saying. That's all I got to say. Kitchens was sentenced to five years. With one year commuted to time served and the rest of the four years of his sentence suspended, y'all, and subject to special conditions including 500 hours of community service. He is required to spend 350 hours speaking to young men and women about the hazards and immortality immorality <laughs> of street associations and street association violence and the dec decay it causes in the community. Go figure, y'all. How can they be out here doing all the street association stuff and now he's going to be the speaker? Okay? That's just like making mob tasks a speaker. Y'all, come on now. Please. Please. Okay? Um, he says, I love and cherish my cherish my association with YSL music and always will. I look at this as an opportunity to give back to my community and educate young men and women that street association and violence only leads to destruction. Kitchen said in a statement. Um good luck. Good luck, Gunna. I'm not gonna um I'm not gonna dog him out or anything like that. You know, if he is innocent, fine. Okay? He deserved to be out. Um, because from what we are told, Young Thug is the demon in this whole situation. That's what I heard. Okay. Um, now we heard about Gunna branching off, getting his own little crew and all that stuff. Um, did they give him his own little branch off for a reason? Did he earn it? You know, with the street associations? I don't know. Was this a scared straight moment and now he see that this is some serious business that he could have faced the rest of his life, his life in prison? And, you know, he's getting a second chance. And will he, you know, do right by that second chance? That's the question. I hope so, y'all. Because being in the middle of a RICO that, as you can see, has piled so many charges on Young Thug, which he probably deserves. Um... I just hope that this was a learning experience for him. And if he was in a street association or had any dealings with this, hopefully he has learned his lesson. And not going to go into, you know, just being real, you know, sneaky with his stuff instead of actually getting his life together. So good luck to Ghana. You know, um, I hope you've learned your lesson. Seriously, y'all. Seriously. Okay, um, they're also saying that Gunner's plea deal comes a day after alleged YSL co-founder and co-defendant Walter Murphy entered a guilty plea on a single count of conspiracy to violate the Rocketeer Influence and Corruption Organizations Act. So other members are pleading guilty too, y'all. Okay, um, according to the court documents, Murphy was sentenced to 10 years with one year commuted to time serve and nine years of probation as part of his negotiated plea. Wait a minute. So two people got out? Oh, no, y'all. I, I, wait a minute. I did not know somebody else got a plea deal a day before. Okay? The day before gonna put in his guilty plea, another member of YSL put in their guilty plea and they're both being released? <laughs> They telling, <laughs> they telling y'all, they telling. How the heck do you get a 10-year sentence and you get one year served and nine years probation? Y'all, come on now. They is telling they asses. <laughs>
<laughs> they tell it. Everybody pointing the finger at Young Thug. Young Thug. Young Thug did it. I don't care though. Because I'm going to tell y'all this. Young Thug got what allegedly buried man. And they tried to take my boy out. Okay. They tried to take out Lil Wayne. This is what I heard. Okay. And it amazes me that NBA Young Boy just signed a deal with Birdman, y'all. After he just, I know he know about what happened to Lil Wayne. If he can call him his son and, you know, smooch him and everything and then turn around and him and Young Thug get together and try to take Lil Wayne out, what in the world is NBA Young Boy thinking, y'all? Ask yourself this question. Who in the world wants to sign deals with these monsters? Okay, y'all? This is crazy. NBA Young Boy didn't even need Birdman, but he signed with him, but it is what it is. Now, he have been putting out a lot of subliminals, laying in coffins and all that stuff. So, maybe he feeling like, you know, something is coming. And he just went on and signed the deal. He do got a lot of kids, y'all. Okay? But, is it worth looking over your shoulders the rest of your life? <sighs> I think not, y'all. I think not. Anyway, y'all, he's out. Two members of YSL, Murphy and Kitchens, is out. Okay, y'all? So, let's wait to see what's going to happen next month to Young Thug. Because it looks like he is going to take the full throttle of this whole mess. Okay, y'all? Anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching. Peace.